Welcome back to Wood Acres. Today we're heading up behind the barn to paint Bert's new love shack. <laughs> up, up. Dizzy, what are you doing in here? You got your heat lamp off, huh? Because it's a beautiful day. We moved Dizzy this morning, and once we get Bert's house done, Dizzy's gonna be moving out. Come on, Pop, work to do. And it's about time to let the birds out, but it looks like the ducks are still napping. What are you doing, ladies? You all smushed in there. Hey, Bert. Rufio. Ducks, you ready? Time to get up, ducks. Exercise time, girls. Come on, ducks, get up here. There's Melissa, loud mouth. Come on, ladies, everybody together. Come on, ladies. Not too long from now, we'll be watching Mumbles run down there with them. A dot, dot, dot. What are you doing, girl? You're late. So I pretty much have all my chickens named, but just like we all found out in high school, some of them have the same name. So all these barred rocks, we got dot, 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 and dot. And all the white light Brahmas are snowballs, except Bert. Just like when I was in school, there was four other Cody's there too. They're all following me. You also noticed today that the compost pile is a lot smaller than it used to be. This morning when the ground was still a little bit frosty, my dad came out here with the backhoe and moved the compost down to the veggie garden. And he also came up here behind the barn and smoothed this out a little bit more and got it more level than it was. Now the high point is up here at the barn and it slopes down away from the barn, keeping the water from going in and then it'll all run down down the hill past Echo Pup. Now the grade out here should be pretty good where I can get some hay down and try and grow some grass seed this year. But the main project we're working on right now is Bert's new house or Bert's love shack, whatever we wanna call it. I think it's a high of about 57 today. So I wanna take advantage of the nice weather and actually get this painted so it's looking nice. I have some leftover red paint, a pan, a roller, and a brush. I'm gonna take a rag and dust off all the cobwebs in the filth before I paint it. But I did already come in with a rattle can and prime the plywood. My plan is to do the walls red and the doors white. And I'm gonna leave the roof alone. There's no reason to paint that. I still have some work to do on the access door over here as well as the door that the chickens are gonna be coming out of. But around here, whenever you get a warm day in February, you do as much as you can. Up, up. You're gonna get some red paint on you? Every time I paint, Echo somehow gets paint on them. Probably because you're always right next to me and you're always trying to help. Up, up. Yeah, just sniffing the wind. But like I said, I'm ready to go out here, so let's get started. Huh. 
We did it. Puppy dog, did you get any red paint on you? Oh, look at your face. Look at your face, buddy. I did not see that. You just got some red paint on your head. You silly puppy. All right, well, I have the first coat on. It's looking pretty solid. It definitely needs a second coat, though. But look at it. It is looking good and clean. I'm really liking that fresh red with the slap boards. And all I did was wipe down the door. I didn't paint it. It was already white, so I figured I'd just leave it and see how it looks. And it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad at all. Oh, pop. Yeah. So I gotta let this dry before I get the second coat on it, but I wanna get my dad's help before he leaves today because moving this chicken run here is gonna be a two-person job. I wanna move it from here and put it in front of Bert's new house, and then it's actually gonna get attached to the front of Bert's house, so whenever they come out of the house, they'll be already in the enclosed chicken run. And I also need to work on fixing the gap on this door. I'm not the best with doors, but I did find the thin rubber that I'm gonna use to cover that up, so I just need to take some measurements and get it cut down at the house and bring it back up. And then once I finish the paint job, I can attach it. For the front door out here, I'm just going to be putting a flap door. So I want to put some hinges at the top so it's just a folding flap that I can pull up and lift with a rope. So I just need to take a few measurements so I can go down to the house and cut out the right size that I need. Something else happened this morning I need to tell you about. When I went in to check on Jim and Pam, I noticed that Jim seems to have a slipped tendon on his leg. What's going on down here, chickens? You cleaning up the compost? So yeah, this morning I found out that Jim was hurt up there, so we were trying to get his leg wrapped and figure out what we can do for him. Hey buddy, we're here to fix you. He's not gonna be easy to catch. Out, pup. We got work to do. All right, go ahead and try and catch him. I'll get your recorded. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Okay, bud. down see how he can walk if he can walk yeah it's gonna be different bud try it out the splint might be a little too low for him to bend his ankle right I'm wondering oh. Where are you going? That's not good. We'll just readjust this, bud. That don't look right. Yeah, I know. You're hissing. I know. It hurts. Now you're standing. He cannot control that. I don't think that's going to help him. You're being a good puppy, but you got to wait, bud. Hey, buddy, let's see if that helped you any. You want to try again, Jim? Let's try again. I think I might need to put a lower roosting bar there because he wants to jump up too high, but he doesn't have the ups. Yeah, you got that leg tucked back again, buddy. Try and try and use it. Hold on, no, no, no. His leg's too far backwards. There you go. Okay. He doesn't want to use that leg. It needs to be wrapped in position. I just need to figure out how to splint it. Maybe a splint just on the outside. Try and keep it in. See, it's. You're right. To try and keep it pointed in. You want to try again, Jim? One more try, buddy. Got it in you. He's still calm. Almost done. Almost 
done with them, girl. We think. I mean, that is as good as I've seen anybody else do it. I just don't know if he'll like it. Take three, Jim. <laughs> Trying to get that foot forward, Jim. There you go. Okay, buddy. No, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that, Jim? Why are you sending that foot back? him yeah I don't want him hurting himself more because he's struggling with that leg he was doing better yeah without it I don't think that's something he's gonna get used to it doesn't look good on him no, it's, it's stiff won't bend and he just doesn't like it yeah and it's still pointing outward mm -hmm. It's not straight. You don't like it, huh, Jim? Oh, buddy. Get him up off that leg. Take the splint back off and just leave the wrap on, I guess. We did the best with that. Hey, Pop, stay out. I'm sorry, bud. I know it's been like 20 minutes, but you gotta stay out there yet. Hold on, bud. Set him over closer to the corner, though, so he's... Kind of set him down as he's seated. Nah. Right there, buddy. Nah, he's putting his foot yep. back. Bring it forward if you can. Now open his toes. I had to try and tape Squat's foot open whenever he had that. I don't know if that's what he needs to. Sorry, buddy. We'll figure something out. He's a lot better without the splint, though. He can at least stand and move. You gotta, you gotta stop jumping up there, bud. You gotta not jump up there. He's, he's a lot better with just the wrap, though. So go ahead out, go ahead out. Let's, let's leave him alone. He's had enough stress, maybe you can, nope, up, up, up. Come on, bud, keep that foot on there. Keep that foot right there. Keep that foot right there, bud. Just settle, settle. Kinda got it. Stop trying to jump, bud. Don't do it. He's on a slope on that stick, so he's not comfortable. There you go. You're getting to the flat spot. That's better, buddy. I'll check in on you in a little bit. It seems to be a slip tendon, which I think is a manganese deficiency, so I'm not really sure why he's getting that with the feet he's on. Hey, Sammy. But we ended up getting his leg wrapped, and he is moving around a little bit better. I put some poultry supplement in his water to try and get him that manganese that he's missing. Hey, ducks. Sorry to bother you. Didn't mean to push you out. But when you have as many animals as I do, something is bound to happen. So I'll keep you updated on him, but I'll bring you back out when we're doing the second coat on Bert's house. Well, the paint's drying. We'll bring Mumbles out for a little bit. <laughs> Hey Rufio bud, what you doing? You checking out to see what's going on? Just painting Bert's new house. All right, we're back up here for the second coat. And I had my dad come up so we can get the run moved over in front of the building. So now I'm ready to start the second coat. It took me 40 minutes to paint the first coat and the second coat always goes faster. I have an hour until sunset when I have to close up the barn. So we're right on schedule. But walking up here and seeing it red now, it's looking really good.
that's it. That's two coats. All right, we got the second coat on there and that's gonna be the end of the fourth day here building Bert's house. I think that red is looking really good with the slat boards and the white door over here I think is just fine. I might clean it up a little bit more but I don't think it needs repainted. I got one duck up here in the pen calling for all the other ones, but they're over by the pond. Always something. But for day five building Bert's house, I should be finishing up the doors and hopefully I can do some furnishing on the inside. Before we close out this video, we're gonna check in on Jim. Just gonna peek in there, see if they're, oh, they're both up on the, Jeez, he got up there. He got all the way up there. His bandage must be helping a little bit. I can still see the, that his leg is crooked. But that bandage must be helping. I'm gonna leave him go. I don't wanna bother him once he got up there. Hopefully he can stay up there all night. I really feel bad for Jim. I'm guessing it was a nutrient deficiency somehow. Maybe they're younger and they still need the 30% protein feed. But the girl I got them from said they were born in the summer. So I was thinking that they're a little bit older, kind of like Piper was. But we're learning something new every day and hopefully we're getting better. That's gonna be all for this one. If you wanna keep following along, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit that like button before you leave and you can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching. All right.